Hi, this is Ashley with Court Reserve. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Book a Pro. Book a Pro is using custom schedulers within the Court Reserve platform. What I want to do is show you first what you can do with this. So this is my player portal on the Court Reserve platform. You can see here that I have a header link called Book Lessons and I have two different custom schedulers. One is Book a Pro and one is Fitness Lessons. If we go into Book a Pro, now my players can toggle through different types of pros at my facility just like they can reserve a court or make a reservation. So if I wanted to reserve a specific instructor, I could simply come here, click schedule, see when the instructor is or is not available. This is my reservation for a lesson. Pick the lesson type that I want to take. The duration time and start time, this is all customizable to your organization along with the fee of the lesson. I also have where payments have to be made within 15 minutes. So once I click save, now I have 15 minutes to go ahead and make sure that this pickleball private lesson is secured. Now, I can also go back up and take a look at fitness lesson. So I'll show you how to customize these, but again, your players can come in and toggle through the days based on your setup, schedule, personal fitness training, the hour, if you would allow for additional times or additional players, and save. You can also turn approvals on or off. And you can see here that this lesson's been scheduled, but it is also pending approval. So now let's jump over to the admin side on the admin panel and show you how to set up your own custom scheduler. First, you'll need to click Settings and go to Instructor Settings. Now, we are assuming that you already have your lesson type set up, your instructor set up, your different scheduling restrictions, which means this tells the system which instructors can teach which lessons, along with instructor pricing, which is based on membership at the instructor level. So let's go into this new green button called Book a Pro Setup. Now, you can see here there are, again, those two tabs, Scheduling Restriction and Instructor Pricing, and this is the third tab, Book a Pro Setup. I, of course, have already set up the Tennis and Pickleball lessons and those fitness lessons and have called my overall navigation name Book Lessons. If you only have one custom scheduler set up, it will name it as that custom scheduler. You will only see this box when you have more than one custom scheduler set up. Now let's go in and see how we set this up. If you are already using custom schedulers in Court Reserve, this is very familiar. So you're going to name the scheduler, and then this is the name that's going to show up on the member or player portal. You're going to be able to determine which instructor types or which individual instructors you get to determine lesson types as well as court preferences. So if you choose required system selection, this means that based on your setup within Court Reserve, Court Reserve itself will choose the court preference. If you would like for the player to be able to require the court, you can choose this here. You can also choose that a court can be optional if they schedule a lesson as well as show no courts and require no court selection. You can also come down here and determine whether you want all of your courts available to be selected for lessons or individual courts. Scheduler booking type means that you can choose to let your players view and schedule directly or just view only. You also get to determine which memberships or you can leave it as all. You can decide if you want to require payment profiles before they get to schedule a lesson or just simply require upfront payment. That's what I had where it took me just 15 minutes left in order to schedule and confirm that lesson with payment. You get to determine the time in advance an instructor can be scheduled as well as the instructor availability or just to show what that looks like. You get to determine the time to open the next available reservation day, which means that if you select two days, today is day one, tomorrow is day two, 
So this is actually determining what that next day opens at. So at 5 a.m. on that second day, the next day will open for all day. You can also determine if you are putting in a buffer time before scheduling a back-to-back -back lesson. You can also do your intervals. And then you can also have this for certain time periods. So maybe you want to do it seasonally, so it's only for a few months, etc. You can hide lesson details and allow lesson cancellations. If you choose allow cancellations, then you get to determine how many hours within the lesson your players can cancel. If your players try to cancel outside of the 24 hours, then you get to determine what this message says as well. You can determine if you're going to allow your players to edit their lesson, how many hours prior to the lesson, as well as what they can edit about that lesson, whether it's the type, so that would be maybe a private to a semi-private, the players, so if you have more than one player and it's maybe a group lesson, they can delete or add other players, the time, and the court. You also get to determine the time and the close that makes this custom scheduler available. You can do this per individual tennis instructor or pickleball instructor, or you can put all of your instructors into one. So let's go back out and click one more time. And so fitness lesson, I just made a couple of different um, choices and selections, just naming uh, a couple of the instructors, just one uh, lesson type. And of course, here's where I put that lesson type as requiring approval, just like I showed you on the player portal. So no big changes here, but you can see now how easy it is for your players to be able to come out and book a lesson directly. Now, let's pop over to your system admins because for your instructors, there's a couple of settings you should be aware of. Organization settings, system users. This, of course, is where your instructors live. We have added a couple of new fields here with max number of lessons, but if I was to go in and edit one of my instructors, now, of course, you can come through and make sure that they have their availability set up, as well as if you scroll all the way to the bottom, if your instructor needs to temporarily disable online lesson bookings, so maybe there's an illness or an emergency, you or one of your admins or the instructor can come in and click this box. It will also show this message so that your players will know why this instructor is not able to be booked currently. You can also put in a max number of lessons per day and also an unbookable time between lessons, almost like a buffer. You can also give your sub-admins permission in order to do certain things around lessons. Now there's a new approval permissions where they can come in and they can approve their own lessons. So this would be for an instructor who is not an admin but a sub-admin as well as can approve all lessons. To an approve in a lesson, you simply need to go to the to-do and you will see all of your lessons where you have approvals turned on, waiting to be approved or declined. So you'll get to see when they were submitted, the type, instructor, the court, the date, and the time of the lesson. You can click approve and see information about the member, or you can decline and enter a reason which will be emailed to your player. Now know that anytime a lesson is scheduled, notification by email goes out to instructors and players. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.